So this is an introduction to the uh, ZX Basic VS Code extension I've been working on and just how to get it running. Um, it is primarily a um, Next Basic syntax, um, but it also um, allow, I've just added the ability to launch into um, C specs, and I just want to walk through the configuration for that. It's it's light touch, but there's still a few things that need to be done. So um, you find it in the um, uh, marketplace. Um, it's currently on uh, 0.07. Um, uh, needs some kind of logo. Uh, there's a link to the repository. Um, the, the 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 main features are um, syntax highlighting uh, with the new next basic uh, functions. There are collapsible um, uh, functions. There's a format on edit, uh, command or control enter will pre-populate the line number and there's help and so on. Um, but I've just added the uh, c spec support for uh, Mac. Um, I need to kind of add a bit for Windows, but it, it shouldn't be too much. Um, you do need to install uh, the prerequisites for c spec um, which is mono. Um, the spec, uh, spec next.dev website has a tutorial on that. Um, and um, the the other thing you'll need is HDF Monkey. Um, so I downloaded this, put the binary in my uh, local path. So in USR local bin, that's fine. Um, and then I'll walk you through the configuration. Before I start, the C-Spec -C support uh, is directly inspired by the work of um, Rob um, Utley in the um, basic on ZX Spectrum Next. Facebook group um, and his uh, comments about uh, auto start, but also um, Sergio Rodriguez, who um, has built out their own um, VS Code collection of scripts, um, which goes a lot further than uh, my own. Um, so their one includes uh, features like renumbering, um, uh, looks like formatting is here. Uh, they support both of the uh, emulators. Um, and also from what I believe, they also support compiling using uh, ZX Basic, the uh, compiler from Basic to uh, Assembly. Um, so there's uh, there was inspiration taken from uh, this VS Code extension. So mine's just a different way of going about things. Um, so go ahead and install that. Um, and I need to uh, go to the extension settings and add a couple of the, the missing features. Uh, options. So the first one is the path to C-Spec and the second one is the path to the next image. Um, and you can change the defaults and, and so on. So I'm going to change defaults to semicolons. There's some uh, C-Spec options here, um, which you can change as well. So we can change the window size down to four and whatever. It'll add in the, um, the MMC option itself. Um, I think that's the right option. Um, so I need to put cspec into the here. Uh, I've got the cspec directory here. Um, I'm going to right click on uh, the file. Um, and if I hold down the alt key, it will give me copy as path name. So if I get rid of alt, it says copy file. I want to copy as far, uh, path name. Let's drop that into here. And then I need the next image, which I also have in the same directory. Right click, hold down alt, copy as path name. Drop that in there and we are ready to go. So I'm just gonna drop in uh, a basic project. So um, here I've just got a very simple hello world, you know, print some text, go to 10. Um, and I'm just gonna show you this working first. I'm just gonna do con uh, control shift P or command shift P and uh, run with C-spec. And there we go, it's running. And I can break into that to look at the source. Um, and I can look at the source and so on. So uh, this also works for more complicated projects. So let's bring up this. Um, I'm working on a Omami clone. Um, so there's a bunch of code. Um, and the thing to also notice here is I'm referencing uh, sprites. Uh, so I've got this sprite mummy clear and mummy map. Oops. Um, this is the help that the syntax brings. Um, mummy map, these two extra files that are sitting in this current working directory. When I launch um, cspec, what happens is everything in the current working directory gets copied across into cspec and it just works. Uh, the game doesn't work so well, but 
you know that's the whole point of developing um and what's actually happened here is um the extension has taken everything in that directory taken the uh, basic file converted it to basic in a temporary directory um and copied it into uh using hdf monkey copied it into uh, slash um uh, dev l the same directory that Sergio Rodriguez uses for his uh, extension, um, partly for some consistency, partly to avoid littering the CSpec um, drive, um, but it renames it to uh, index.basic uh, and then copies everything across. Um, so if I um, just break this and go into the browser, you can see it starts in this uh, devil directory, um, and you can see all the various files that I've been kind of working on and copying across over the last uh, few days. Um, and the other thing this does is to um, change your autoexec.basic. Um, so it copies across every time you run this uh, new autoexec, um, which looks like this. It CDs into the directory, clears. Oh, gosh. Uh, I tried to do some error handling, but it just didn't seem to work. And it loads up the basic file, runs it, and uh, off it goes. Um, and behind the scenes in the extension, it also adds an auto start uh, to your code if you don't have one. Um, so right at the top of the, the file, the actual basic file that's on the machine looks like this. Um, if you have an auto start in here that's like, I don't know, here, um, that'll work fine. It'll auto start on line 50. You can auto start on line 60 um, and it'll work. If you don't include it, it will just auto start by itself. Um, so that's where it's up to. Um, I'd love to get any feedback. Um, you can either file issues if you come across any on the repository, um, or you can ping me in the basic uh, ZX Spectrum Next uh, Facebook group. I'm looking at that quite a bit lately. Um, otherwise, hopefully this has been hopefully this has been useful. Thanks.